Hello everyone, welcome to 9 Tech 11. This is Jimmy T here and we are back with another iOS 16 video. Today we will show you all the features that Apple is bringing to our iPhones with iOS 16.4. Before you continue viewing this video without paying any money, we ask that you hit the like button and subscribe to 9 Tech 11 as a small act of gratitude for our efforts. This will make both parties happy and won't cost you a dime. In this video we'll be discussing the upcoming features of iOS 16.4. The latest update to Apple's mobile operating system will cover new emojis, changes to Apple Music and Podcast, a revamp Apple Care coverage menu and more. Stay tuned to find out what exciting new features iOS 16.4 has in store for iPhone and iPad users. First of all, let's check all the new emojis. Apple is once again introducing a new set of emojis for iPhone and iPad users with the release of iOS 16.4 beta. These new emojis version 15.0 are based on the Unicode standard version 15.0 released back in September 2022. Notable additions include the much requested pink heart, a shaking face and the wireless emoji alongside several new animals and objects. This means that once you update your device to iOS 16.4 you will be able to enjoy the latest fun emojis. Apple is introducing a new and helpful feature with iOS 16.4. This is probably the most useful feature for all of us since we tend to make or receive a plethora of phone calls on a daily basis. This feature is no other than voice isolation. Perhaps you're thinking that this is not a new feature. Well, it actually is for cellular calls. Apple introduced voice isolation for FaceTime calls back in iOS 15. At the same time, an API was available for developers to add this feature to their own apps. However, adding voice isolation on regular calls was a far more challenging feature. It doesn't really matter anymore since voice isolation is finally available for all of us with iOS 16.4. Apple is finally, finally bringing back the page scroll animation on books with iOS 16.4. This animation was removed for an unknown reason by Apple when iOS 16 was launched last fall. Hardcore books users have been complaining about this change ever since. This animation is finally making a comeback in this beta version. We also get to view a new splash screen when opening books for the first time in iOS 16.4. Another big change has to do with beta profiles. Apple is making a significant change to how iPhone owners can install developer and public betas to their device. Up until iOS 16.3, users had to install a beta configuration profile in settings, which would allow them to install the next beta through software update. But with the new iOS 16.4 update, things have changed. Now Apple will recognize if you are either a developer or enrolled in the public beta program based on the Apple ID of your device, without the need to download the configuration profile. This means that users will be able to select if they want to install a developer or a public beta version or even update when the official public release becomes available. On iOS 16.4 beta 4, the already installed iOS 16 configuration profile is automatically uninstalled when updating to beta 4 and onwards. And for developers who are enrolled as Apple developers by using a different Apple ID than the one used for their personal device, Apple gives the option to use a secondary Apple ID in the software update options of their device. This allows them to update their personal devices to a developer beta as well. This change will exclude non-developers from testing upcoming iOS releases by downloading a developer configuration profile from a friend or another third-party online resource. Apple is also introducing a new Apple Care coverage menu. The Apple Care coverage details are now available directly in settings for all your Apple devices. This new menu is available under settings, about, coverage, and shows the list of devices with useful information such as warranty expiration date, repair parts availability, availability of support services, and more for each of your device. Apple also added some small images of its device, which is a small but nice addition. We love when Apple pays attention to such small details. Apple keeps refining Podcast App on iOS and iPadOS, including CarPlay. Podcast App now includes a new channel section in library, which provides easy access to your favorite creators. Through channels, you are able to easily check all followed or non-followed shows from your favorite creators. Apple also brings some up next improvements. The app next queue now allows users to resume episodes also from shows that they do not necessarily follow. These changes are also reflected in the CarPlay version of Podcast app. This makes it easier for you to quickly pick up where you left or find your shows in browse. 
Now let's move on to Apple Music. Apple keeps polishing the music application with new animations that appear when you add a track to a playlist, on when you tap a song to play next. Apple is also improving the interaction with your personal profile if this is enabled on your Apple Music. Of course, we also have the addition of Apple Music Classical, which is now available as a separate category in Apple Music. With the introduction of iOS 16.4, Apple is rolling out a new wallet home screen widget. If you've ever made a purchase using Apple Pay from a participating app or a website on your iPhone, iPad or Mac, you can now easily track your order in wallet on your iPhone with a new order tracking widget. This feature will make it more convenient to keep tabs on your purchases so you can stay informed and up to date with your order status. Whether you're a frequent online shopper or just looking for a more efficient way to track your purchases, the new order tracking widget is definitely worth checking out. Moreover, Home application has also been updated to support a new architecture for easier and more reliable performance. The app asks from users to update to the new architecture when launching the app for the first time after updating to iOS 16.4 from an earlier iOS version. This update was about to be delivered with iOS 16.2 but it was later pulled off by Apple due to several performance and connectivity issues. A major change has to do with Safari push notifications. Apple is finally bringing a new feature to iOS that lets you receive web push notifications directly in Safari, without the need to download an app. This means that you can stay up to date with your favorite websites without the extra hassle of downloading an iOS application from the App Store. To use this feature, you will simply add a shortcut to your home screen from your favorite website. The shortcut icon will show you how many new notifications you have, just like a regular iOS app. When you tap on the home screen shortcut, you will be taken directly to the website to see your notifications. Apple is also enabling focus support for home screen web applications. With this update, Apple will also allow third-party web browsers to use the Auto Home Screen feature, which will allow you to create a home screen shortcut from a web page that will open directly in an alternative browser, such as Chrome or Edge. Of course, developers need to take advantage of these features and adjust their websites accordingly so that they can enable these features. Apple now gives iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max owners the option to tie enabling or disabling the always on display of their device with a focus mode. For example, users will be able to select disabling always on display while in sleep mode, but keep it enabled while using another focus mode. Furthermore, Apple brings several new shortcut options with iOS 16.4, including the option to enable or disable the Always on Display through Shortcuts app. Apple is also allowing iOS 16.4 users to create a shortcut that will allow them to turn off or restart their device. With iOS 16.4, Tips app shows you the user guides not only for your current device, but also for your other linked Apple devices, such as the Apple Watch, HomePod and AirPods. New Apple Pencil Actions on iPad Pro On the iPad, we have some enhanced functionality for the Apple Pencil on iPadOS 16.4. Apple Pencil Hover now provides tilts and azimuth support. This feature is available on the latest 11-inch and 12.9-inch iPad Pro with the M2 chip released in 2022. Apple also adds support for 5G standalone or 5G SA. 5G SA is an implementation of 5G that solely uses 5G core network, meaning that it has no dependency on 4G LTE network control functions. This is expected to bring faster access speed, higher data transfer rates, and lower latency for supported carriers. iOS 16.4 seems to be enabled 5G SA for T-Mobile users in the US, which according to T-Mobile, provides support speeds of up to 3 GB per second. Apple is also bringing support for 5G SA to the customers of Japanese carrier SoftBank and the Brazilian carriers Vivo and Team Brazil. Apple is also bringing 5G support for Google Fi users now, as well as for certain carriers in Turkey and Macau. So this is it guys, thank you for watching this video, stay tuned on 9 11 for more iOS 16 coverage. Peace!